Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 231 and today is our lesson number 111. Turn to page number 231 and read the problem to yourself. It's the problem that you find on the bottom of the page, problem number 2.7.5. 2.7.5, today is our lesson number 111. It says, at a food stand, apple can be purchased for 15 cents each. Alright, so we can buy apples cost 15 cents each. Now of course in the book it does not say 15 cents each, it says 0 0.15 dollar which is very annoying. Convert everything into decim uh, convert everything into cents. Don't leave it in the do don't leave it in dollars so that we can uh, so that we can uh, so that we can avoid having to deal with these annoying decimals. 15 cents. And pairs cost 20 cents each. They're talking about pears, I just uh, switched that to bananas because I like A and B. Because I like to be creative. I can't help it when the creative when the creative juices are flowing. Uh, that's, that's what I do. A and B. What else is going on? So, apples cost 15 cents, banana cost 20 cents. It says at these rates, a bag of apples and bananas were purchased for $3.80. Alright, so we're buying few apples. Let A let A be the number of apples purchased and let B be the number of banana purchased. So if the apples cost 15 cents each, if the apples cost 15 cents each, if I buy one apple, if I buy one apple, I would pay 15 cents, 1 times 15. If I buy 2 apples, I would pay 2 times 15 cents for 2 apples. If I buy 5 apples, I would pay 5 times 12 cents for 5 apples. If I buy 17 apples, I would pay 17 times 12 cents for 17 apples. And therefore, if I buy A apples, I would pay A times 15. I don't know why the hell it became 12. It should be 15 throughout. What the hell is going on? One more time, the number of apples we are buying, the number of apples we are buying is A. A, is, A represents, A represents the number of apples that we are going to purchase. B represents the number of bananas we purchase. So if we buy one apple, one apple is going to cost us 1 times 15 cents because each apple costs 15 cents. If we were to buy two apples, we'll end up paying 2 times 15 cents. If we were to buy five apples, we'll end up paying 5 times 15 cents for the five apples. If you were to buy 17 apples, we'll end up paying 17 times 15 cents for 17 apples. Similarly, if you were to buy A apples, we'll end up paying A times 15 cents. That is the cost of apples, A times 15 or 15A. Similarly, for bananas, we are buying B bananas and each of them costs 20 cents. So 20 times B represents the cost of bananas. 20 times B represents the cost of banana. Similarly here, 15 times A represents the cost of 15 apples. And we are told that the total amount that we paid for the bag full of this fruit is $3.80. That is our first equation. This is the most important part, the most, most crucial part, uh, the most crucial ingredient of the whole process. You must have the right equations. If you don't have the right equations, if you cannot come up with the right equations to start out with, it doesn't matter how good you are at solving the equation, you're not going to find the answer that you're looking for. So that's the first equation. Since there are two unknowns here, there are two unknowns here, the number of apples and number of bananas, A and B, since there are two unknowns in these equations, 
to solve for two unknowns we need two independent equations this is only one equation there must be another equation somewhere, per bur somewhere in the buried in the problem let's read the rest of it so so far what it says is that apples are costing 15 cents banana co are costing 20 cents we bought a bag full of fruits for which we paid three dollars and eighty cents that's the, so far that that's the story then it goes on to say if the bag contains 21 pieces of fruit aha the bag contains 21 pieces of fruit which means the number of apples that we bought and the number of bananas that we bought must equal 21 this is our second equation this is our second equation this is our first equation that's it the rest is downhill we substitute one equation into the other uh, and we, we solve for the two unknown variables that's all apples and bananas this, let's substitute this equation in this one as opposed to doing the other way around so this equation tells us let's see what did I use for here this equation tells us that bananas equal 21 minus a bananas equal number of bananas that we bought has to equal 21 minus a which makes sense because if 21 is the number if 21 is the total number of fruit that we bought then the number of bananas that we are buying must be 21 minus the number of apples that we are buying let's substitute, let's substitute this equation into this one substitute equation 2 in equation 1 and when we do that we get 15a plus 20 times b which we know is this one 21 minus a equals 380 we just have to solve for it that's all it is the rest is very easy let's do it then so 15 times a plus 20 times 21 how much is 20 times 21 I know 20 times 20 is 400 that you should know 20 square is something you should know 20 times 20 is 400 therefore if you had one more 20 because we have 21 20s if you had one more 20 it must be 420 minus 21 times a equals 380 okay 15a minus 21a gives us a negative 6a let's first get rid of this 420 subtract subtract 420 from both sides if you were to subtract 420 from both sides we have a positive 420 here we have a negative 420 here it cancels out and here we have positive 15a and a negative 21a it gives us the negative negative 6a equals 380 minus 420 is a negative 40 now that does not make sense at all because we cannot divide 40 into 6 something has gone wrong 380 380 and negative 420 will give us 40 that's what I'm getting again so something has gone wrong oh I know where it went wrong can you figure out the mistake what I made where did I make a mistake I made a mistake we're multiplying it by 20 here you see making a mistake is not a big deal as long as you can catch it as long as you realize that something has gone wrong how did I know right away that something has gone wrong? Because here I'm getting 6a equals to 40. 6a equals to 40, we cannot divide 40 into a 6. And we know that a and b, they both need to be integers. They cannot be fractions because it's apples and bananas. You're not going to buy 3 quarter of an apple. Even though they do not tell you in the problem, the nature of the problem is such that they have to be integers. If you're talking about people, they have to be integers. If you're talking about blue cars and red cars, they have to be uh, uh, integers because you cannot have 3 eighths of a car. You cannot have 3 out of a flower. So the nature of the problem is such that A and B have to be integers. This is not going to give us integer. That's how I knew that something has gone wrong. This is where I made a mistake. Here we have positive 20 times A should give us 20A, not 21A. This should have been 20A. So a positive 15A and a negative 20A should give us negative 5A. Negative 5A. Now we divide both sides by 5, divide both sides by 5, or negative 5 rather, and we'll see that a equals 8. a equals 8. Is that what the question is asking? Is the question asking how many apples are we buying? Or are they asking for 
they're asking for how many bananas we are buying. They talk about how many how many of the pieces were pears and pears in our case is bananas. So we have A we sold for B right here. B equals 21 minus A and we just found that A is 8. Put it in here. A is 8. 21 minus 8. How much is 21 minus 8? I don't know how much 21 minus 8 is. I know what 21 minus 10 is. 21 minus 10 is 11. Therefore 21 minus 8 must be 13. And that's your B. That's you. That's it. B equals 13. Voila. That's it. We're done. So that was a boo boo. Right there was a boo boo. 20 times A should give you negative 20, not 21. That's all. The answer is 13. That was the end of that page. I will see you tomorrow on day number 112 when we'll do one more uh, word problem and then we'll talk about the simple interest and the compound instance after that. Okay? I'll see you later. Bye now.